uh, what is taking up most of your time at the moment? What's actually keeping you awake at night, would you say? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> I mean, uh, March is a busy month. We always knew it would be. Um, we were expecting the white paper to be published, mm -hmm. uh, and that's now going to be more like in uh, June. Okay. Um, and so we haven't got that to worry about uh, particularly, but uh, we have had the guidance from the, the Office of Fair Access on uh, access agreements. Uh, so these are agreements that universities have to produce if they want to charge more than £6,000 for their courses. Uh, so one thing we're, uh, that's taken our time at the moment is thinking about what will be in our access agreement. So what's actually going to be in the white paper when it comes out? That's the million dollar question. We don't know. Um, it's going to be quite a broad ranging paper, we think. Um, but we're hoping it will give an insight into the government's thinking around the future size and shape of the AG sector in England. Um, and that will then impact on the, the shape and size of the sector in the UK and then more widely. So how are we kind of preparing for all these changes in the higher education sector? Mm. Well, it is a time of great uncertainty and, and one of the messages I've tried to get across in many of the staff conversations events I've held over the last couple of months is it, just that, you know, there are very uncertain times. Um, you know, universities have not on the whole set their fee levels yet. And, uh, and clearly we're not going to set ours for a little while yet. And, uh, and even when we've set them, we're probably not going to go public with them straight away um, because there is a, a disadvantage in letting competitors know what you're going to be charging. So, so we're playing quite a cautious line on uh, the decision-making timescales and also the publication timescales, which are very sort of different. What about um, the news last week about funding cuts? How is that going to mm. impact? Um, BU and, and also how is it going to impact staff mm. and students? We knew they were going to be down on, on previous years. We knew there would be a, an element of cut in there across the sector. And for Bournemouth University it's 4.1%, uh, which is uh, exactly what we were expecting. And that's bang on the sector average as well. So, so it's a cut that we planned for, uh, we knew it was coming, and uh, it won't adversely affect staff and students in 11-12. Will staff and students get a final say on what's actually in the BU vision and value? Yeah, I mean, for me, uh, a vision for the university should be aspirational, mm -hmm. um, but also achievable, mm -hmm. uh, but most importantly owned by as many people as possible. So mm -hmm. it's not my vision for Bournemouth University. Mm -hmm. It will be a collective view uh, about how we can take Bournemouth University forward and what's important and what we want.